Hello, I'm Chris Bonpastori, a technical support advisor at Quest. In this video, we will be going over the installation of Privilege Manager for Windows. We will discuss the requirements, software additions, and components, then do a complete step-by-step -step installation walkthrough. Before starting an installation, it is recommended that you review the Administrator and Quick Start Guide that is hyperlinked to the accompanying Knowledge Base article. These guides will have more information about all aspects of the installation process. Version-specific system requirements are located in the Quick Start Guide. The Privilege Manager console and client must be installed on a computer within the Active Directory domain. To start the console, the user must have local administrator rights and have right permissions for group policy objects to be configured. Finally, when setting up the Privilege Manager server, Microsoft SQL Server is required. This can be either hosted locally on the Privilege Manager machine or remotely. Check the Quick Start Guide for supported SQL versions. If SQL is not already installed, Privilege Manager can optionally install SQL Express. There are three versions of Privilege Manager. Privilege Manager Community Edition is free and does not require a license. Privilege Manager Professional this edition requires a paid license and includes additional security, discovery, and reporting capabilities, as well as technical support from Quest software. Privilege Manager Professional Evaluation is a 30-day trial period for Privilege Manager Professional. If you do not buy a license after 30 days, the software will revert to the lesser featured Community Edition. You won't have the professional features, but you can keep the Community Edition just for trying Privilege Manager. When reverting back to the Community Edition, you will need to resave all computer-based group policy objects rules as user-based. Computer-based rules will no longer work on the client side once the trial expires. There are three software components included with Privilege Manager, Console, Server, and Client. The Privilege Manager console is a management application. It is installed on a domain computer, server, or workstation and is used to create and manage rules within the group policy. Any user who has permissions to edit a GPO can use the console to set privileges. The Privilege Manager server is installed within the console. It is a service which has several functions. It can deploy the client, collect and report on data, and discover and process applications that require elevated privileges. The Privilege Manager client is a service that runs on each client computer. It applies the rules created in the console by monitoring processes as they are launched on the client and elevates or lowers privileges for processes that are configured to be monitored. This is done by injecting an administrative token into the process or revoking it. Microsoft Active Directory and Group Policy are used to distribute Privilege Manager rules to client computers. Privilege Manager can modify privileges only for a standard user account, not a guest account. Elevated privileges can be revoked even if the user is a local admin. At this point, we're going to do an installation walkthrough. As a reminder, the console must be installed on a computer that is joined to the domain and run under a user account that has the rights to change at least one GPO. The console displays GPOs based on the security context of the user that is logged on. After downloading the setup files from the support portal, run the Privilege Manager setup file, PA Console Pro. The Privilege Manager console requires Group Policy Management Console to be installed. If it is not detected on the system, you will have the option to install it now. You also have the option to install any other missing components automatically by clicking Yes to All. I've sped up the component installation. Depending on download speeds and machine hardware, the time may vary. This took me around five minutes. The initial dialog box is the installation welcome screen. Click Next. Next is the end user license agreement. Click 
click accept and then next. Next is the destination directory. Select the directory where you want the application to be installed. At this point we are ready to install. Go ahead and click the install button. And now the installation is finished. Click the finish button. Then go to start. Expand quest. And see here we have now a privilege manager icon. At this point is where we would enter a license file. Press yes now to apply a license file to enable the professional features. Press no to use the free community edition of the product, or press cancel to exit the program without applying a license file. I'm going to click yes now to apply a license file. Now browse out and point to your license file. And then privilege manager should load. And that concludes the demonstration of installing privilege manager for Windows. To learn more about Privilege Manager, visit support.quest.com forward slash privilege dash manager dash four dash windows.